Hello and welcome back to Daytona week. This time we are in B-Fixed. We're doing Xfinity. Um, normally I've been doing open races a lot more this uh, this season. They've been a lot more fun. Uh, but <laughs> in this case with Super Speedways, I'm kind of trying to do the shortest race as possible. And uh, so we're going to just do Fixed this week. Uh, I once again am joined by my fiance. Hello. Hello and welcome. Stop. Don't make fun of me. This is my video. You can't hey. make fun of me on my video. <laughs> I want it to be like you. Oh, thank you. I think. <laughs> but um, uh, I'm going to put you on the spot here. Oh. I'm sorry for doing this to you. Why? So, so are we, are we going to qualify in this race? Try to get as close to the front as we can? Or should we choose not to qualify kind of hang around the back and uh, wait for some wrecks and then try to get a better finish uh, at the end after letting things settle down a little bit. Do it a second. <laughs> really? You, you think we should uh, choose not to qualify? <laughs> I'm scared. I don't know what it means to qualify. Qualify as in like that's the lap you do by yourself and then um, right. it decides uh, if you get a fast lap then you know the faster lap you do the closer to the front you start. So the fir the person with the fastest qualifying lap starts in first. I don't know. There's no right answer. Uh, you just have to be in the right place at the right time, and there's no way of knowing. You should hang back. You think I, I should hang back? Okay. Uh, in that case, that's what we'll do. We'll hit ready to race. Um, and <laughs> we've got our checkered flag here. So now we're going to start behind all of the people who choose to qualify. And... Uh, one through six if they choose not to qualify. Anyone know why Trading Pains closes after each session? That would be... I don't have the answer for that poor man. I can't help him. <laughs> but, uh, so now, hopefully we'll uh, get into the race pretty quickly. Uh, I think I will go ahead and cut this part out since we're just going to be sitting around. Normally I would just cut this out anyway if I wasn't qualifying. So uh, I'll be back in just a moment. Hey, we're we're back, and uh, we're starting at the front anyway because no one qualified. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, uh, your option didn't matter. <laughs> um, I guess we, I don't know what to do now. I mean, we could uh, we could purposely fall back, but no, I don't know. I mean, that's kind of funny. Only three people qualified. So funny. Let's see what paints they got oh <laughs> uh, yeah see uh if we got any more mayonnaise or anything in this race that was pretty good so far not seeing much i got my blockbuster scheme um i already got praised for it in open practice <laughs> before the race I'm like hey uh, i like that scheme that was nice of them pretty boring scheme so far is what i'm seeing i don't know maybe my dreading Ooh. paints isn't working I mean, it's not really that hot of a take when his car literally is white. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's the... I think they know at that point. What about them? What about them? Oh, There's can't really see. Hmm. I'm wondering if my training paints is working. Huh. I don't know. But, uh... Well, I guess we're starting at the front anyway. I'm gonna be careful like I usually am. So... Maybe it won't matter too much, but... Wish I could check on my trading paints right now, but I'm worried I would mess stuff up with the recording and everything. So I'm just not gonna mess with that. Uh, we're starting eighth after not qualifying. That's so funny. I can't believe three people qualified. I know usually there's not a, a whole lot of qualifying in these races, but that might be a record where just three people qualify. And we're off. Oh yeah, I got that. And we're off. Yeah. One to go. Next time by, you're on the outside. And we're racing. Oh my gosh. Would you believe it? <laughs> Again. Yeah. I don't want to get crashed 10 seconds in. Yeah, you know what? I don't either, actually. <laughs> Mr. Green. Oh, I think the, uh, I think Trading Paints is working. That looks like someone's actual paint up there. We just look at all these, like, plain color schemes. I don't know if that's the, because those are the schemes they have, or if they just uh, aren't loading right. 
No, that one's that one's a real one. DIY sim, I'm pretty sure. It's not someone's like uh, eye racing scheme, I don't think. I'm sure it's fine. I mean, either way, it's not really gonna make much of a difference. But I was like having people's schemes on here and stuff. Oh, I'm dumb. I, we can see our blockbuster scheme. Of course, trading. Games I know. Is only. Well, I mean, they uh, hey. they load individually too. So it could be like mine loaded and the other guys haven't for whatever reason, but I don't think that'll be the case either. So we're gonna be uh, coming around to green here, this lap. We're gonna be patient. I hope the people behind us are too. They chose not to qualify, so the assumption is that they're gonna be patient. You would think, but we'll see. We'll see how quickly we go three wide this time. We, we did it in the first lap <laughs> last race. He stars off. Green, green, green. <gasps> I'm just kidding. Screaming. Let me stop. I mean, to be fair, in real life, if I was going 190, I'd be screaming too, probably. So I understand that sentiment. I'm stuck on the outside. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try to get down to the bottom as soon as I can. So much Oh. That guy's just backing out. We're fine. Oh. Okay. Got get the inside open. Gotta come on down here. This is it. Yeah, this is it, guys. We're gonna die now. All right. People being very patient. They know how. They know how it is, I guess. Just gonna come on down here and uh, hold this bottom line. I'm not gonna move anywhere. We're gonna ride around for about 30 laps. Okay. So now starts the podcast. All right. What's the topic for today? Uh, sweet tea. Sweet tea. That ah. is my favorite beverage. Uh, sponsored by sweet tea. Yeah, sponsored by the concept of sweet tea. No specific brand, just sweet tea in general. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, um, that's my beverage of choice, sweet tea. Water and sweet tea is about all I got. <laughs> that's all I got in this world, man. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, what is your beverage of choice? Write in the comments below. <laughs> I was asking you. Oh, me. <laughs> hey, if you want to help the algori algorithm, oh my gosh, algorithm out too, leave in comments. I always appreciate that. Oh, um, <laughs> Diet Coke. Diet Coke. Okay, solid choice. Or ocean water. Ocean water. Yeah, from Sonic. Yeah. Yeah. What is it? It's like Sprite and then like yeah. a coconut flavoring or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, I bet I would like that if I liked soda. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't. I don't like carbonation. I don't know. I don't know what it is about it, but it's not into it. Never have been. I think it's probably like a uh, natural response I had, like when I was there, a kid and I drank soda for the first time and I wasn't expecting the fizz and it probably like, gave me a slight startle and then all of a sudden, <laughs> all of a sudden I didn't like uh, soda anymore. It startles. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're a little close on the outside. Oh yeah. I don't think they, I don't, I don't know why they feel the need to pinch it so hard right now. Uh, it's pretty uh, It's pretty tight, isn't it? I'm looking at number four. Number four? Where are they? I can't really look away from oh, the right line. in front of you on the other side. Are they that green thing in my yeah. peripheral? Yeah. yeah. That's the thing. I, I'm kind of like staring at the yellow line the whole time to make sure I'm hitting my mark here. So I do have to like kind of focus. Uh, make sure I'm holding my line, but... Not too much to it other than that. I'm just giving plenty of room ahead of me in case they have to check up for whatever reason. Like maybe Ooh. someone hits the apron or something by accident. And, uh, well, the hope is that, uh, ooh, that guy's backing out. Whoa, that got a little weird. Okay. <laughs> we're good, we're good, we're fine, we're fine. Why did they back out? They're like, uh, we think we're gonna wreck, so we're gonna back out and go to back. Oh. Uh, yeah. 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 It's sometimes it's smart. I'll say that. 
Good about to go through the line. Considering oh, this guy is uh, swerving all over the place. Ah, I can't. I can't watch. <laughs> oh, I can't watch. <laughs> oh, the humanity. Yeah. Yeah. See, the guys like they hit the apron sometimes, and it makes their car shoot up a little bit, and that's what causes a lot of wrecks a lot of the time. Yeah, the apron. That's what they call the little area below the yellow lines there. You probably could have figured that with context clues, but... <laughs> I know you uh, are new to racing, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, um, I do appreciate you coming along, even though I know uh, racing's not your thing, it's my thing. So, it's fun having you here, though. <laughs> That's your yawn. <laughs> I'm just tired. Yeah. I mean, I get it. Like, this, this kind of makes me want to yawn sometimes, too. I'm not, I'm not I know, I know. And to be fair, this is intense. Like, as much as I bemoan it, it's like, uh... You're racing really close at very high speeds, and any little mistake can cause a big problem. Uh, it's just, uh, you know... The racing, there's not really much racing itself, it's more like... Trying to be careful as possible. This guy, does this guy see me? I don't know if he sees me, because he's like right, right on me. He sees a gap. No, I, I think it's three wide. I think that's a problem. Uh, Someone backed out. Oh my god, that guy's swerving. Jesus. They're a little unsettled, looks like. They want to get in the line. <laughs> All hail the line. It's demolition. <laughs> I'm scared. Like, my blood pressure is, like, rising. Yeah, it gets your heart pumping, right? Yeah. Ah! The freaking bug got all over it! Oh, yeah. Over there. Alright, what was that bug's name? We need to mourn him. Richard. Richard. Oh my gosh, Richard. Uh, what kind of bug was he? <laughs> A fly. Richard the fly. Ah. <sighs> Richard the Fly, also known as Dick by his friends. <laughs> he, uh, was heading out on a one fine day in Florida, and he met an early end. So, uh, rest in peace to Richard, I assume. Uh, his lifespan was probably 2022 to 2022. That's what he's doing. Flies don't live very long, so. Especially when they want to fly around on racetracks, I guess. But uh, I don't know why the guys swerve so much. I wonder if maybe like they have their steering ratio up a little too high or something. Like I keep mine as at default. I just do a little bit of practice to make sure I know how my wheel's feeling and everything. Get the force feedback how I want it. To keep it steady. There's also like a. It could be just a little bit of net code too, making them, making the game a little bit uncertain of where they actually are. Oh my gosh, that guy's definitely hitting the apron once in a while though. Oh man. I think the pressure gets to people sometimes, too. Yeah. You know, they, they get nervous, they get tight, the palms are sweaty, mom's spaghetti. <laughs> and they uh, start hitting the apron and stuff, and that just causes problems. You just kind of have to remain calm. It does help to be able to talk right now. It helps me uh, keep my thoughts focused and just experience, too, having done plenty of super speedway racing, knowing to, uh, you know, I just got to do what I got to do, keep my bottom line here. and. I mean, as you can see, it really doesn't matter, shifting lanes. It really doesn't do you much good. Oh! I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I get it. <laughs> um, you know, I just leave a little bit of space ahead of me in case guys do hit the apron and I have to check up. No, no need to be right up on them. That's what you think. <laughs> yeah, that's what I think. That's, that's why I'm not going to win, because I'm not bump drafting them in the corner. They see a little space and they try to get in there. Yeah. And I just, I don't see the need to even switch lanes until lap 29, maybe. If that. Well, we made it far by now. Lap 11. Yeah, we made it pretty far, but guess what? We're not even halfway there. Oh, I know. <laughs> so, uh, the truck race, I think, was it? That was 25 laps, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so the, uh... So I know you don't know this. This might... I'm sure plenty of people watching know this, but uh, so that truck race we did, that is basically the third tier of NASCAR. So 
those uh, of the main NASCAR series, those are the shortest races. Then this is the second tier. Uh, this is the Xfinity car. The races will be a little bit longer. And then um, we're still going to be doing a Cup Series race at some point uh, this week. And that's the highest tier. That's Cup Series. That's, uh, you know, the longest races. You know, they're still not all that long because they're fixed races. But, uh, you know, the races get a little bit longer. Presumably the racing should be a little bit more professional, but that doesn't really seem to actually be a thing, because you, you have to have a higher license class to be in the higher series, but uh, um, in my opinion, the license system is a little bit broken, it's a little bit too easy to get higher licenses, so just about anyone joins up anyway. We have lap traffic coming up here, that's going to be interesting, see that slow car up there? <laughs> I spy a blue cone. <laughs> I guess I should say something blue. You wouldn't just tell someone what your eyes spying. That kind of defeats the purpose. So the hope here is that this guy goes to the top way, and if he doesn't, then I'm going to have some choice words. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go. I know. I'm going to be grumpy. Okay, so okay, he's cho he's choosing the other good option, it is uh, below the yellow line. Oh, okay. That's good too. As long as he keeps it down there, he's getting a little bit close. <laughs> he pass about him, pass him. I know. Don't Kevin LePage, please. Please, God, please. Ah! <laughs> It's all right. It's all right. This guy's just—he uh, found an opening to the bottom, so he uh, came on down. That's fine. <laughs> as long as he doesn't make a habit of hitting that apron like he just did. Another bug hit us. Oh my gosh. What was William. That? William. The mosquito. Oh well, he deserved it there. No. The mosquito. Yes. Mosquitoes are terrible. <clears throat> Billy the Mosquito definitely deserved that one. You changing the thing. William and Billy are the same name. Bill, William, Billiam, they're all the same. Billiam. Yeah. Bruh, this car, you can't be in two lanes. Yeah, you tell him. When you queue up the mic, you can yell at him. <laughs> no. Really. Yeah, I'm not doing all right. So it looks like we're getting checked up a little bit in this bottom lane. we got people going around the outside and stuff. But, okay. uh, I'm still going to be sticking down here. I still don't see any reason to change lanes. Prediction. Number 10 will call the wreck. You think so? Yeah. How are they going to do it at the apron? I don't know. They're swerving, though. They're going to hit a car. So well, right there. See? You know what? You might have made a good prediction, because uh, all that lane changing is not necessary, that's for sure. Well, why did they do that? I don't know. We're going to pass them now, I think. Why would they do it? I don't know. None of these moves matter at all, really, until you get much later in the race. Like, there's just too much more time. Right now, the whole thing is just surviving. Which, by the way, the field's been surviving very well. We haven't had a caution yet. Yet. But, uh, yeah, at least we're getting these laps clicked off. Make things go a little smoother. Yeah, we're hitting a bunch of Williams. And, uh, what was the other one's name? Randy. No, Randy. no, it was Richard. All Richard. right, <laughs> Richard the Fly. Yeah, we're hitting lots of Richards and Williams. Yeah, why are they all male? Are you trying to say something about the audience of NASCAR races? <laughs> you know, it's pretty diverse actually with racing. If you maybe like compared to other sports, I don't actually have data to support that, but I mean. Um, it seems like it's pretty diverse. My mom likes racing. She was basically the one that introduced it to me, so... Oh boy, they're really in the apron now. Oh my god. Yeah, guys yelling at each other. Alright. Bottom line really got going there. It seemed like the uh, higher line kind of checked up a bit. But you see it, it really doesn't matter what lane you're in. Oh, jeez. No! Checking, checking up. Oh, my God. Sorry, guys. I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, I imagine you didn't mean to do that. I checked up for him. I lost all hope. That could have been bad. Are we, are we pressing the mic? No. Um, oh. I, I wanted to, to let people behind us know that we're checking up, but I was too worried about uh, keeping it steady after that guy was going to hit me in the rear, so... Dang, how did we fall back so hard? We had to check up because that guy. Oh. 
I mean, it's not a big deal. We're going to be right back in it because of draft, so. We're going to get uh, rubber banding here. Everyone's going to be brought back to together real quick. I hope they're ready to check up. It's like an accordion effect. Really shook up the field a bit. Yeah. So are we going to get chopped again like we did in the truck race? Is that going to happen by this 10 who's been changing lines crazy? Oh, yes! Alright. I'll right. get on their, on their car right now. <laughs> Just fly from the audience onto their car. <laughs> oh, God. I think you've watched too many action movies. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to need that, uh... I guess the 8's behind us now. That's the 18. All these, like, boring cars, they're hard to... Differentiate. Oh, I like number 17. 17? They're that, pretty slick. Well, that's just a pure black car. No, but they have gold trim. Oh, do they? Yeah. I, I, like I said, I can't really look too much. I have to. I'm just. I, my eyes are glued to that double yellow line on the bottom, basically, the whole race. That and uh, a little bit ahead, so I know what, if I need to check up and all that. So, uh, alright. Heart's pumping, but we're doing well. We're doing well so far. <laughs> so far, so far, always gotta say so far, because, you know, we, we could go through all this and just get wrecked on the last lap. It's no. happened before and it'll happen again. I actually, I actually got a little bit too low there and got a little unsettled, so. You gotta be careful as well. Ah. Let's bump draft in. Oh my god. What's up? Turn from you. They're okay. No. We're three wide, that's less okay, but I think we should just be fine still. Ugh. Things are starting to gonna start picking up here because it's ten to go coming up. Yeah. So guys are gonna start making more uh, desperate dumb moves. I'm scared. <gasps> There's ten on your side. <laughs> Thanks, spotter. <laughs> Your side. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, you're, we're going to hear no. that three wide a lot more often now. Why are we always three wide? I was trying to go around on the outside, I guess. No, not no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, boy. If you thought it was intense before, get ready. Buckle up, friends. Oh, oh! I know. My car stop it! Oh, sorry, 18, sorry, you need to stop. Sorry. No, it's okay. You you bring much needed energy to this race, so I appreciate that. 16's going up the what middle. The heck? Right, right yeah, I'm like, he came out of nowhere. He's forcing it. He's he's getting a little bit too crazy here, I think. Oh, I'm scared. Where are we going down below the yellow line, guys? We're scared too. <clears throat> I think I, I think I'm doing an alright job keeping it steady. I mean I'm doing what I can. Here. We're still hitting the apron. I'm having to check up a lot more too. Maybe that's all in my head, but Oh that eighteen. Sorry, what were you saying? Let's check up. Check up means I'm um, getting off the gas. Um so at Daytona you can you don't have to like lift off the gas or anything for the corners, but you definitely want to when you're behind someone, so that way you don't run into the back of them, you know. Um, and that's called checking up. That's why I, li I leave plenty of room because you don't know if like maybe a guy in front of you is going to get on the apron or something. You got to be ready not to slam into the back of them. So give space and. Yeah, we're uh, we're getting down into the nitty gritty here. You guys are gonna be all three wide, several rows back. This is a top split race, uh, so you would assume guys can handle three wide. And so far, it's been a good race, you know, in terms of super speedways. We haven't wrecked yet. Oh! Oh, he's going to the back. This guy, he couldn't handle the pressure. <laughs> he's like, I'm not doing it anymore. He's not. He's looking at this three wide, three by three, and is not enjoying it. Yeah. But uh, 
Hey, we're here to make entertaining videos now, aren't we? Ah! <gasps> no! And are you not entertained? Who done did it? Who done did it? Let's see out of my window. I tried to get it out of the way. Nowhere I can go. Oh man. We might not be too damaged though. Yeah. It wasn't there. All the way to the back. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I was trying to like, help working. Uh, well, we're not out of it yet, but now we lost all the track position. Man, that 18 must be like a freaking fortune teller. They knew exactly when it was about to happen. It's all good, man. This flight race wasn't making it interesting. Who done did it? I'm actually done remaining. Got everyone back stopping best I've seen all week. That's nice. So we're going to come in. We're going to fix up the damage. We're going to. Not take fuel. Yeah, not, the only matters. But uh, we'll be right back in it, I guess. I think Two we should be fine. Up here. Come on. We got some side damage and maybe a little bit of rear end damage, but it shouldn't be uh, too much. I'm actually wondering. I wish I'd we pick my here, even? If we get a caution now, Let me see like how many people we're going to. I'm going to be screwed because I'm going to be in the back. Well, it looks like I'm going to be screwed either way. We're four, not pitting. Three. We're not pitting. It's too close to the end of the race. Now, I'll change my mind if I check here real quick. And, uh... So what I'm going to do is I'm going to check our speedometer here. 2,000. That means we are not down on power because whenever you hold down the clutch and let it roll like that, it'll default to 2,000 if you don't have engine damage. <coughs> and that tells me we don't have engine damage. Uh, tires don't matter on super speedways. So I'm going to go ahead and take this track position this close to the end of the race. And we should be able to keep up. We didn't get too much damage. I don't think we need to be pitting. I could be wrong, but I think that's what we want to do here. Yeah, we'll see if I was wrong. Um, it could be we have... I mean, you, we can see the front of the car, too. It's not like we have a... Yeah. We, like you said, we're not seeing the advertiser <laughs> from the cockpit here. Um, so we're not... Uh, we don't have too much aero damage. We're not, like, holding a parachute out. And uh, that's not going to be slowing us down. So I think we should still be pretty fine. Um, track position is going to be more important, I think. So... That's that. We got ourselves a 4X for being terrible, dangerous drivers <laughs> in this no-fault system. But, uh, should be okay. Is that guy... Is this guy missing a rear end, or is that just his paint? <laughs> Can you tell? I think that's just I his... I can't see. It's hard to tell. It looked for a second that he was missing the rear of his car, but I think that's, uh, that was just my eyes tricking me. Heck, I kind of wish we came in just to get a, uh, window tear-off. So we can get Richard and William off our windshield. So, what place are we in? We're still in ninth because we didn't pit. I'll take that. So, where am I? Okay. What's normal RPM should be at? 2000? 2000. Someone's gonna answer? Yep. yep. Alright, thank you. So, other people checking for damage. So I think we did an okay job. We we still ended up spinning out because we got hit a little bit, but uh, you saw I kind of I dove be below the yellow line after I slowed down a little bit, and uh, we avoided anyone hitting hitting us uh, too hard. So we avoided getting too much damage, and I think that's a big part of uh, why even though we were in it, we're still able to stay up here. So we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Don't think we're gonna be off pace though. I think we'll be fine. So we're going to be uh, hitting green here this lap. It's going to be three laps to go. And we're still in a pretty good position. We're going to find out if uh, Richard and William are good luck charms or bad luck charms. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's one of both. Maybe it's like the uh, angel and the devil on my shoulder. Which one's uh, the good one and which one's the evil one? Oh. oh sorry, sorry, sorry. Go ahead. 
Wait, what? What were you gonna say? I was gonna say the mosquito is obviously the evil one, but uh, th let me not interrupt. Oh, I was gonna say the opposite, but. Really? Okay, what's your reasoning? I don't know. <laughs> okay, good point. All right, we're about ready to go then. One car left. Far so good. That guy's going to the high side. Go, go, go! <laughs> oh, sh he Might be a little off pace. I mean, that guy's missing a whole front end. Oh no, are Mind we going us. slow? Or? Yeah, we're off pace, it looks like. What happened? Our damage is more uh, significant than I thought. Oh. Yep. Can we still pit? If they wreck again. Aw oh, man. This sucks. Yeah. It kind of does. I thought we were fine. We don't have engine damage, but we must have something that's causing us to uh, lead off speed aerodynamically, so. Um. They could easily wreck again, though. We'll get a green-white checkered. We can come in and maybe fix it this time, or... Yeah, probably come in and fix it. Yep, there they go. Yay! Go, go, go! Luis! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Go, go, go! No, no, no! We're gonna hit the brakes! We're not go, go, going. We're no, no, no We're gonna be number one! I don't know about that. I'm just kidding. Wow, I can't believe I missed that. That was crazy. Everyone has damage. The, the blue cone! The, you know, the, the, <laughs> the blue cone get hit? Yeah. <laughs> the blue cone's in there. Whoa. That was crazy. Yeah, that was a pretty big wreck. So, we're going to come in and fix the damage this time. I would absolutely hey, I'm glad we were in that now. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I guess we would have been in it if we didn't have the, uh, yeah. Literally damage. everyone has to pit. It's all about luck. We were lucky. So we have to catch the field, but guys are, uh, broken down, yeah, so... Yeah, that's when we shot the wind's already over. Why ruin everyone else's race? Is this guy with a broken engine really not going to go in the pits? Oh my god, the smoke everywhere. I know, that, that's, that guy's a jerk. If we're doing that. Because we can't go any faster than him or we'll get a black flag. And oh he's out of the race God. essentially anyway. So there's no reason Man, for him to be I don't know how here. I feel. My first race on here this week, I missed a shift before the start finish line and took out the entire field. Now here I am, we can see in. This is my first race in six months. That guy's Last upset. night is my first in a few weeks. See, we should Even be pitting right now, but this guy is out on track with his broken car. Do you have to wait for him, or what? Yeah, like I said, you can't pass him, because that's technically his position to own, but he can't go any faster than that because he's so oh broken. My Jesus. What he should have done is come into the pits, but I think he's avoiding doing that because he knows that if he comes into the pits, then uh, he has to fix his, tr his car. I mean, he should, have, he should be getting a black flag anyway, because he needs repairs. <laughs> Oh, did he go? He's going now, so that made no sense. Why would you avoid a penalty if you're going to be broken for the rest of the race anyway? I don't know. You just ruin the race for other people. Well, no, let me not be dramatic. He didn't ruin the race. Boxing. Five. What? Four. Get out of the way. Three. Jesus. Two, one. Box now. We missed our pit. Oh, how'd you know? Huh? How'd you know I was going to miss it? Dang, we have a minute? We got more damage than I thought. Let me take a look at it. Oh, yeah, we're dented up pretty bad in the back. Oh. Yeah, that's what... Yeah, I mean, we, we must have got hit in the rear harder than I thought, but uh, that's kind of something that stinks about this, is there's no indicator of damage. In real life, obviously, your spotter or crew chief would be able to say, hey, you got heavy damage on the, on the rear end. But here, we, well, there's no way for us to know that. You know what I mean? Which is kind of silly. What you laughing at? <laughs> that guy looking at us. Yeah, he needs to look away. He's creeping me out. <laughs> hey, can hey. I drive your car? <laughs> no. No, you can't. <laughs> Actually, well, maybe in a super speed way. But. So we'll go ahead and fix this. We'll fix this uh, damage. Um, should be able to get out before the uh, pace car easily. 
I think we'll be able to salvage a pretty uh, okay finish still. Two more laps. Yeah, it's green, white, checkered. So uh, what happens here is if uh, if there's a crash near the end of the race, really close to the end of the race like this, um, instead of ending under the yellow flag like they used to back in the day, um, in order to make it a more satisfying finish for the fans, they do what's called a green, white, checkered. So um, they'll uh, after the crash, they'll set everything up, let uh, the caution unfold naturally, and then uh, they do a green, white, checkered. So it's a green flag to start the race, white flag, so the next lap will be the last lap, and then checkered, that'll be the last lap. So that's where green, white, checkered comes from. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's what we're doing here. We get one attempt at it, as indicated here, one of one. So if we crash again, it will end, or end under caution. Some people are disconnected. Yeah, those are, are the we last lap? Not last, because oh. like, as you noticed, uh, people are disconnecting because they're damp so <coughs> damaged, but it can't continue. Um, we're actually we're damaged, but it could be much worse. Um, we're just trying to catch up to the field here. I'm a little concerned because we're pretty far back. I see. But. Uh, we're going as fast as we can. Can't do much more than what we're doing here. Looks like we're going to catch up just fine. Where are they? Okay, there's the 22 we're being asked to pass. Oh, okay. And then I think we should be uh, in position. Oh, poor lowly 22. Yeah, they're left down. They're still out here, though. That's worth a couple spots all on its own. So hopefully we're not quite as off pace this time. Everyone looks dead. <laughs> Lots of people taking up in that, that's for sure. Oh man. Get ready. Going green. Everyone looks yep. bad. Thank you. Alright, let's see if we crash again. Oh god. Green, green, green. <gasps> <laughs> you and you screaming. <laughs> so, they're probably going to be even more aggressive now. If you thought that was possible. Three wide. For 90th place. Let's not. Maybe at Talladega. Let's not do that at Talladega. We're keeping up better now, but we're still not quite up to speed. Oh man. Oh, yes. Well, it's not just us. There's a lot of people damaged, that's for sure. Why aren't they lagging behind? They don't have as much damage, as I assume. Or damage that's not affecting them as much in terms of aerodynamics. We're gonna come up here and we can follow this guy's draft, because we need all this draft in order to keep up as best as possible. Oh lord. So are they going to wreck again? Or are we going to make it to the finish this time? Oh, you're hoping they wreck? Uh, <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't know about hoping, because I have to get past the wreck if they wreck. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is back off, because I'm not going to lose any more spots, and if they wreck, I want to be able to avoid it. Yeah, now I kind of do hope they wreck, because uh, we can avoid it from back here. But uh, even if they wreck now, they're going to make it across the line, so that's that. It, it could have been worse. Definitely could have been worse. Good finish, guys. Yeah, actually, we're able to finish. Fifteenth. Okay, we'll get them next time. I tried, Trevor. Average. Below average, probably. But, uh... Oh, not much you can do if you're not one of the lucky ones. One of the lucky ones. One of the lucky ones. So, that's 15th of 23. Damn, yeah. That's pretty bad, actually. That's below average. But Oh, wow, that's look how close that finish was. It was closer than a thousandth. <laughs> We're going to have to look at that. Uh, for now, we'll start looking at the crashes, and we'll see what happened to us. Come on, Grant. I thought you were going to be my friend and go up high with me. All right, incidents. Ooh. 
three wide left. Wow, all the way to lap 24, we didn't get anything. And this is the wreck. This is what we got caught up in. No! So, what happened? It looks like the 8 decided to bump draft on the top line in the corner, which is a no-no. Yeah, he's just, he's uh, unstable. You see him wiggling. Yeah, and he uh, runs into the back of him off center and crashes. So that was on the 8. It doesn't even hit us till there. Eight. Yeah, let's, uh... Eight. Let me stop. God. Yeah. That vendetta. <laughs> There's us. Just trying to stay out of it as much as possible, but we're just along for the ride at this point. Just holding the, uh, holding the brakes. Nothing we could do, obviously. So, I see that they're wrecking. I get on the brakes and I try to cut down. Wait, but that's on the back, though. It's just in the back? It looks like uh, the 12. No. Yeah, they okay, get. Uh... Oh, see? Yeah, he's the one that gave us the damage. What you mean? I don't see it. You don't see it? Look. He's, he's coming down. He swerves. Look. It's us right there. Oh, I, I thought you were 16. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm over here looking at the wrong. Getting confused. <laughs> Yeah, okay, still... wait, we're seven? Yeah, now I gotta seven. rewatch. Now you gotta, oh my god. <laughs> it's fine. Roll it again. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're just, you know, we, we, got, we just gotta hope that we're not in it, you know? Oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Multiple people hit you. So that was like no shame. I mean, they're, they're kind of along for the ride, too. They're just, once you're wrecking, there's not much you can do. It's just hope you don't get it too bad. It's always us. <laughs> it's always most of the field. <laughs> so 15's being all kinds of crazy, and that's what got them spun. <laughs> they didn't hit anything, though, so they probably came back and still did fine, unless they got wrecked uh, uh, another time. Oh, okay. I forgot that it caused a chain reaction. Oh my god! Did another car flip in the air? Yeah, I believe so. Um, so this is the one we watched from a ways back a little bit. Yeah. Um, let me adjust this just a tiny bit so we can see ahead a little farther. Oh. So we, we got that guy crashing and this guy was stuck below the apron. At this point, it's his responsibility to come up on the track safely. He doesn't. And he comes up and hits the 19. I mean, maybe he didn't have an option. Oh, oh, oh. This up and get some and they all kind of try to save it but they all crash anyway uh, see they're all kind of wrecking and then I come along and I'm just slowed down man we didn't know we had that damage yeah I didn't know the damage was that bad and this was coming to the win when he just comes down and hits that guy. And they uh, they didn't actually wreck from there. This was the finish. That's about as close as it can get. Let's uh, take a look at that. Uh, how close that was. I mean, less than a thousandth of a second. Dang. And uh, it was <laughs> the number one that got it. So that's why, that's why fans love it, for sure. Like, it... There's always these close finishes. There's always big, crazy crashes. Yeah. So that's why people love it. But for drivers, it's uh, an acquired taste, I guess. Man, that was so close. Yeah. Could have been us. Could have <clears throat> been us. But we got caught in the big one. So I believe that was it. Because uh, this is just the number one celebrating his victory, I imagine. <laughs> There he goes. Whee! So overall, it was a pretty clean race. We didn't miss the wreck when we needed to, but uh, at least we didn't get killed. And, uh, well, <laughs> we finished ahead of some guys. But as usual, super speedways don't really go too well for me. <laughs> so uh, what'd you think? Um, cool. Cool? <laughs> All right. Someone thought it was cool. I didn't think it was cool. <laughs> but uh, let me not be a... Let me not be a whiny boy. Let me <laughs> let me be a little bit uh, more positive. I'm trying to be. 
Because we got more Daytona ahead of us. Woo! <laughs> I think we got uh, just one more I'm going to do. We got uh, the Cup Series. And that'll be coming before too long. So maybe I'll see you there. Uh, maybe it'll be something else beforehand. Got other things to do on service. But uh, thanks for watching. And I will see you next time. Bye.